More bad news for the people trying to control the contaminated water leak at the Fukushima plant. Officials with Japan's nuclear regulator say there may be more than one storage tank that's leaking radioactive water. TEPCO officials broke the news to their counterparts from the Nuclear Regulation Authority on Friday. They say radioactive readings inside a ditch leading into the Pacific Ocean have been rising since Tuesday. They say workers have found higher concentrations of strontium and other beta ray emitting substances in water samples taken from the ditch. NRA Commissioner Toyoshi Fukita says the ditch may have collected more spilled radioactive materials as a result of rainfall. But he also suggested that more than one tank may be leaking. He told the TEPCO managers to start monitoring the tanks more closely. Workers at TEPCO have also reported a plunge in levels of chlorine and radioactive materials inside a utility tunnel after work began to pump out densely contaminated water. NRA officials say the readings probably dropped when low chlorine groundwater flowed into the tunnel. They say this could mean tainted water from the tunnel seeped into the soil and mixed with groundwater. The people in charge of Japan's crippled nuclear plants say they're facing their worst crisis since the triple meltdown at the facility. Every day, hundreds of tons of water accumulate inside Fukushima Daiichi. Hundreds more are believed to be seeping into the ocean after becoming contaminated with radioactive particles. In this edition of Nuclear Watch, we're looking at the latest on the effort to bring the situation back under control. Workers at Fukushima Daiichi have struggled to stop radiation from escaping into the environment ever since the 2011 earthquake and tsunami wrecked the facility. One of the main sources of contamination is the groundwater that flows from the mountains into the nuclear plant. Government officials used Tokyo Electric Power Company data to estimate the extent of the problem. They said approximately 300 tons of water was filtering through the site until early this month, becoming laced with radioactive materials and then seeping into the sea. Another factor is the ever-increasing amount of water accumulating inside damaged infrastructure. Once it makes its way into reactor buildings, it mixes with radioactive isotopes. For months, TEPCO workers have been pumping up 400 tons of water every day and storing it in tanks on site. TEPCO officials say they have about 1,000 tanks containing almost 340,000 tons of water. They say they're at nearly 90% capacity. Last week, workers detected a major leak in one of those tanks. About 300 tons of water escaped, releasing several quadrillion becquerels of radioactive particles. It was the worst single leak since the immediate aftermath of the 2011 accident. There have been four instances of leakage from these tanks in the past, but the latest is the largest to date. NHK World's Kenichiro Okamoto has been covering the recent leaks at Fukushima Daiichi. He tells us why the situation is so serious. Inspectors measured radiation levels around the storage tank that leaked. They detected up to 100 millisieverts per hour. A worker exposed to these levels would reach his annual exposure limit in just 30 minutes. Nuclear regulators rated this single leak a level 3 incident on an international scale that classifies nuclear events. Plant managers still don't know the exact cause, but experts question the design of this type of storage tank. They're made of steel plates, bolted together, rather than welded. A resin sealant is supposed to prevent contaminated water from seeping out. Some experts say this is the tank's main weakness. There are about 300 of them on site.
We have learned that TEPCO workers didn't keep any records of visual inspections of the tanks. In addition, they didn't equip some tanks with devices to detect changes in water levels. Managers say they'll put these devices in all the tanks. And they say they'll send inspectors more regularly. They have also promised to replace the bolted tanks with more reliable welded containers. TEPCO executives are promising to set up a special task force to deal with the contaminated water issue. And they say they will invite experts from outside Japan to help them tackle the crisis. TEPCO engineers are trying to tackle the root of the problem by limiting the inflow of groundwater into the plant. They have been drilling wells between the mountains and the reactor buildings to capture some of the water before it reaches the site and becomes contaminated. And they are also digging wells along the coast to pump up tainted water to try to limit the leakage from inside the buildings. But it's not clear how effective all these efforts will be. One thing is clear though. TEPCO seems incapable of dealing with this problem on its own. Now, Japanese government will fund an underground wall to isolate the facility. The government needs to take charge entirely. Now, although the Japanese government has vowed to come up with measures to tackle the radioactive water leak, the situation may be worse than thought. As studies from last year indicate that radioactive water will contaminate the entire Pacific Ocean in just six years. Kim Minji reports. This graphic shows the gradual contamination of the Pacific Ocean due to leaks of radioactive water from the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan. The simulation, which was run by a German marine research institute, shows the entire Pacific waters being polluted by radioactive water in just six years. Although the results failed to grab attention when first released last year, experts now fear that the hypothesis may become a scary reality after the Japanese government recently admitted that some 300 tons of radioactive water have leaked into the ocean. Misei Murata, a former Japanese ambassador to Switzerland, criticized the Japanese government and the operator of the crippled nuclear plant, Tokyo Electric Power Corporation, for its handling of the situation. TECO recently admitted to leaks of radioactive water. The amount is much more that the simulation had taken into account. The international community has also voiced concerns over the issue, but Tokyo, meanwhile, is busy drumming up support for its bid in hosting the 2020 Olympics. 2020 Tokyo, let's do well. Murata stressed the fact that Japan does not realize the gravity of the issue is more outrageous. If Japan can secure the safety of its own nation, it is being insincere in hosting an international event like the Olympics. It should step out. A Russian nuclear research center had also advised TEPCO to take measures two years ago, just after the accident broke out. But Japan turned down the suggestion. It's now been two years and five months since the nuclear crisis, and Tokyo has finally set out to deal with the problem. However, experts say that it may be too late. The former ambassador also warned that Japan may lose its rights in its exclusive economic zone if it fails to block the leakage into the 200 nautical mile zone. Kim Minji, Arirang News. To Japan, where the Fukushima nuclear disaster is entering one of the most critical phases of its cleanup, and some would say a very frightening phase. The Fukushima plant that was severely damaged during a tsunami in 2011 is leaking. It's causing the drinking water and seawater to be contaminated. There's over 300 tons of contaminated water believed to be pouring out into the ocean each day. Professor, what is happening right now uh, at this uh, nuclear site? Some are saying it is the most dangerous phase 
uh, since that reactor melted down. Is what's happening now more precarious than the explosion, the meltdown itself? Well, I wouldn't say that it's more precarious during the month of uh, March when, uh, you know, the country was nearly cut in half. However, uh, from November of this year, we start, they, they are going to start trying to remove the uh, spent fuel rods from above reactor number four. And uh, given the current uh, uh, circumstances, you know, the, the flow of water that you mentioned and so forth, that's weakening the facility and could lead to, uh, you know, a, a, very, uh, a very dangerous uh, crisis. Mm -hmm. well, what's actually happen, uh, happening with, uh, I guess, these rods that are on site? They're being moved, trying to contain them, or can you take us through some of that? Well, the rods, um, you know, there's... There are 1,300 used fuel rods uh, above reactor number four, and they contain, uh, it's been estimated, 14,000 times the amount of uh, radio, uh, radioactive substances released through the Hiroshima bomb. And so you, you don't want, you know, uh, you know any, any kind of slippage of the, uh, of the materials when you're trying to remove them or whatever uh, to happen. And, and forgive me, but you said these rods are 14 times more radioactive than the bomb? Uh, pardon me. Uh, for, the, the amount of radioactivity within the, in the rods themselves is about 14,000 times that of the, the Hiroshima bomb that was, you know, of course, exploded 68 years ago. So the, um, the issue is you've got these, these rods above reactor number four, and you've got this water problem. It's softening the earth underneath the uh, facilities um, and, uh, and making it increasingly difficult to do an already challenging job of removing these fuel rods. All right. You set the spark, you stoke the fire, and then you act surprised. When the flames go up, when the barn comes down right there before your eyes. Oh, the tools that you manipulate are more powerful each day. And they will overcome you, they'll crush you and take from you all the marrow and the sinew of your ideology. But don't get upset, don't be like that. It's your own damn fault that your flock is ready to fight. It is too late to turn around, turn them all to salt. No, your monsters come to life. Oh. Well, rocks are thrown and voices used to tear down the innocent. People will die with ideas cast in rebar stoked cement. Oh, the words you shout has moved the herd to break free from their cage. To drop bombs on all the weaklings. Retching, melting, reeking of the forfeit, tired teachings of your ideology. But don't get upset. You can't be like that. Cause it's your damn fault. That your flock is ready to fight It is too late To turn around To turn them all to salt No Your monsters come to life Oh Don't get upset Don't be like that It's your own damn fault Yeah That your flock is ready to fight It is too late to turn around, to turn them all to salt. No, your monsters come to life. Whoa, whoa. it's come to life. You set the spark, you stoke the fire, and then you act surprised. When the flames go up, when the barn comes down right there before your eyes. Oh, the tools that you manipulate are more powerful each day. And they will overcome you. They'll crush you and take from you all the marrow and the sinew of your ideology. But don't get upset. Don't be like that. It's your own damn fault. That your flock is ready to fight, it is too late 
to turn around Turn them all 